Hey there, everybody. This is Luminaire at the Luminaire Show. Yeah, I'm up and coming. I've just decided to start to do some Let's Plays, so hopefully you like what you see, and maybe you'll come stick around and keep watching me to continue. My first Let's Play is a new game I've never gotten to play before, but I've heard a lot of flack about. I mean, a lot of good things about. <laughs> flack is kind of bad, isn't it? But Puzzle Quest 2. Never played the first Puzzle Quest, but it sounded like the second quest was a bit better, so I decided to just jump in with that. I mean, it's not like there's any integral plot or anything like that that you have to be worried about, right? Alright, so let's jump right in and see how this goes. Single player. Uh, new hero. Let's see. Um, seems we've got a few different classes. We got Assassin, Barbarian, Sorcerer, and Templar. And it'll tell us what we can do. Templars are master of defense. They may not be able to deal a lot of quick damage, but they are difficult to kill. Uh, I don't want this game to take forever, so I don't think I'll be a Templar. Sorcerers! Although they have few life points, sorcerers have spells for all occasions, from direct damage to board manipulation. Sorcerers are the only class that may use mana tonics. I have no idea what those are. Um, I'm never. I have, as far as RPGs goes, I usually don't pick mages. I usually like balance as far as offense and magic and physical things go. Uh, assassin, what do you do? Assassins being a pure weak at first, but their spells combine to give some of the most lethal damage combos available. Assassins are the only class that may use the most powerful poisons. I assume those drain your life over time. That could be useful. Ooh, sneak attack. I like the sound of that. Thieves generally aren't too bad, but let's see what barbarians can do. Barbarians are a well-rounded class. They have good offense and defensive spells, along with high life points. Barbarians are the only class to use the most powerful two-handed weapons. I typically like balance, so... I mean, generally you would think of a barbarian as nothing but a brute force class, but... It says this is good offense and defense, so... Uh, this seems like the class I'm gonna go with. I think I'm gonna go with a barbarian. Barbarian! Male, female, same. Alright, now I just have to name the bastard. Uh, Jormengard? Uh, don't think so. Man, does he ever look like Conan the Barbarian or what? No, I'm not going to name him that. Uh, what other weird names do they give you? Galad, Kristoff, Nikolas, Oberon, Oberon, Jormengard again, Galad, Syrian. Galad. Wow, they don't really give you much to work with, do they? Uh, well, let's see. I'm a big fan of Fire Emblem, so who does this guy look like from that series? How about... Hmm... Jeez, I don't want to take forever to just come up with a name. What's with a nose ring? Blue tattoos. That'd be my cell phone. You know what? Eh, whatever. I think I'll just name him Galahad. Yeah, sure. A little Knights of the Round Table for you there. Okay, let's just go with that. Difficulty. I'm gonna stick with normal. I usually stick normal mode. Uh, spellbook. What is this thing? Oh, hello, little flower lady. This is your spellbook. Here you can see all the spells that you currently have available for battle, including class spells, learn spells, and any friend spells. You may choose up to five spells to take into battle with you. Choose wisely. Some spells are better than others. Alright, so this is the only spell I have. Pummel. Uh, cause one damage for every two red gems currently on the battle board. That's cool. Pretty straightforward. Alright. Inventory. This is your inventory. Here you can manage your items. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, yeah. Equipment, stats, all the good stuff. Very basic. Alright, let's get started. Quest.
This is like with Bugenhagen in FF7, only the in old... Oh, of Jesus. Is not eternal. No, I guess not. And when a paladin ventured into those icy towers many years ago, something was disturbed. What icy Her towers? Her home, Valoran, was once a mighty fortress. It guarded those towers, a prison in the ice. Something old was locked inside, and for centuries it had slept. What's that caveman? I uh, am sent Sentino man? Truth. Yeah, that's what they found. To learn if this demon is awake. I hear feral creatures raid for Lauren. Are they its servants? And townsfolk, entire families disappear. Is that to sate its hunger? I had hoped this day would never come. But I must be certain before I return. Oh my god. I've never been one for this Lord of the Rings crap. Deep beneath the ice that chokes these long forgotten towers. Does a great evil stir once more? We're gonna find out whether we like it or not, aren't we? I mean, if you're worried about a great evil being resurrected, why are you even going down there in the first place? Odds are you're going to be the one to trip it, to trip something. Puzzle Quest 2. There we go. I'm the Maiden, and together with the Mother and the Crone and the Holy Spirit, I'll guide you through many of the trials you'll soon face. Let's start by selecting Guardsmen. Uh-huh. Quest, you got it. So high tech. Hey there. Hey there. We could use your help. Fancy that. Hey, you look around the adventure top. There's a swarm of rats around here somewhere. Help me deal with them. Demons, or demons, I think they said I can handle, but rats, yeesh! There they are. Yes, they do have southern accents in medieval times. Didn't you know? A question mark over something is the rats won't finish the quest. Uh huh. Nice tribal drum there. Ratophobia. Oh, thank God they're right there. Wouldn't it suck if I had to like travel halfway across the overworld just to get my first damn objective? Yeah, sure, I'll battle them. Writhing, hissing mass of tattered fur, razor sharp teeth and claws. They can overwhelm by sheer numbers. I have a feeling they won't, though. <laughs> Welcome to your first battle, hero. Though the rat swarm would normally take turns with you, I've stopped it from doing so. Oh, so this is a gimme battle. The rats have ten life points, which you can reduce by matching skulls. Oh, looks like you would want to avoid those normally. A match occurs when you get three or more of the same gem in a horizontal or vertical row. Each skull you match reduces the rat swarm's life points by one. If you can get the rat swarm to zero, you've won the battle. No! Well, okay, let's match the skulls. Oh, right, he doesn't move. However shall I complete this impossible... I won. Before I could even finish my lame joke, I had won the battle. Wood, metal, leather, fang. All worthless, probably. And no gold. Great. And 83, whatever this is. Whew! Nice work. I know. Hey there. Hey there. Again. Hmm? Hmm? Hey there. Hey there. Hmm? 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 Welcome, stranger. Hey. Appreciate the help, friend. I know it ain't too dignified, but those things give me the creeps. Woo-wee! Name's Ron. I guard the gate here in Lauren. What's left of it, anyway? You just ran in time for another goblin raid. Before you ask, I can handle goblins just fine. Problem is, I need to stay here and make sure no one more can get in. That is, unless they're rat goblins. Ugh. As soon as the guardsman had finished, yeah, that's nice. Dun, 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 dun. Rescue the farmers. 50 gold. 300 exp. Investigate the problem in town. Yes, let's. 
Mm hmm? Mm hmm? Hey there! Hey there! Okay, I guess that's all for you. I'm probably never gonna talk to you again, am I? Ooh, let's play! Uh, maybe after the giant sword wielding goblin is taken care of. Oh, that's pleasant. We got like a... <laughs> that's like the Joker crossed with the actual Hobgoblin. <laughs> oh, more like the Wicked Witch of the rest. Small and vicious, they exit, exhibit a surprising level of cunning in battle, often resorting to tricks and traps. <laughs> Let's go. This is the battle. The Goblin will be fighting back. Oh no, you're not gonna just give me a win again? You can still damage it using skulls, but you might also want to try using your spells. Spells require mana, which or mana, I don't care how it's pronounced, which you gain by def matching the color gems on the board. Ah, so, defeat that, and that's how you spell, so if I get more red gems, I'll probably be able to use my spells that way. Gotcha. It'll flash when it's ready to cast. Watch out, though, because your opponent can cast spells, too. Eagles first? That sucks. Alright, uh, any skulls? No. Alright, so let's get some red. Mm hmm. Okay, you can't match those. Uh, here's some more red. Then I can match the skulls. And because he's an idiot, skulls for me! <laughs> uh, let's see. One, two, three. That'll do four damage. Let's do it. Alrighty. Two more of those that... Don't tell me what to do. Wait, was that good or bad? Why did it tell me to do that? Why the fuck would it tell me to do that? If it's bad for the... Oh, stupid game! Okay. Just because the game tells you to do something does not necessarily mean you should do that. Although I did not need it to tell me to do that. No more skulls, let's just beat his ass. Take that and that! You win. Okay, note to self, the computer is not always on your side. Woo! Your hero has gained a level. Each level you gain will make you more powerful. Whenever you gain a level, you may choose one stat. Oh, only one. Uh, uh oh, new spell. Destroy all red gems on the battle board, adding plus one to skull damage bonus for every four gems destroyed. The effect lasts until the end of this battle. Okay. So here's what I... Whoa, okay. Here's what I have, and then that's what I gain. Only one stat actually improves. Well, this one I get better spell penetration and more turns for mini games, so two things go up. Plus, it's only at one, so let's see. Stamina, morale. Yeah, let's go to intelligence. I am a smart barbarian. Huh? Huh? Ooh, let's play. Yeah. Wow, Mister, you got the goblin good. One of these weapons help. Oh wait, that's a girl. I think the goblin dropped him. Jesus. Ooh, a reward. Uh, worth 25 gold. Ah, two-handed weapons. I could use those. Axe. And what kind of what barbarian do you know uses a short bow? Let's go bastard sword, because I'm a bastard. Sounds like another goblin is coughing havoc. Dun, 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 dun. I'm gonna be fighting nothing but goblins for a while, aren't I? Or maybe some more rat packs. You bet I will! Let's go!